Did you know that John Hayes Hammond Jr.'s father was a famous engineer in his own right? John Hayes Hammond Sr. was born on March 31, 1855. His family had settled in California as a result of the gold rush of 1849, which foreshadowed Hammond Sr.'s eventual career as a gold mining magnet. His youth was spent among the cowboys of the Old West, though he would later travel to Connecticut to attend college at the Sheffield School of Science at Yale University, just as his son would do over 30 years later. In the late 1870s, Hammond Sr. attended the Royal School of Mines in Germany, where he met Natalie Harris, whom he married in 1881. He returned to California and began working for Senator George Hearst, father of publisher William Randolph Hearst, a mining magnate. His mining career blossomed in the following years, during which time Jack Hammond was born in 1888. By 1894, Hammond Sr. found himself working for the British South Africa Company alongside the famous Rhodes brothers, Cecil and Frank, the former of which established the well-known Rhodes Scholarship. Hammond Sr. was given charge of Rhodes Gold and Diamond Mines in the mid-1890s, which earned him a great deal of financial success and international notoriety, largely due to his innovations in mining technology. However, his success eventually turned to disaster when he became embroiled in political intrigue and military action against the South African Republic. Known as the Transvaal at the time, this region of South Africa was the site of the Jameson Raid, an attempted coup essentially motivated by economic interests that failed spectacularly. The background of this raid is too complex to elaborate upon in detail in this video, but had to do with tensions between British colonies in South Africa and the Boer Republics, populated by descendants of largely Dutch immigrants who settled in the region throughout the 17th to 19th centuries. When gold was discovered in the Transvaal, and the local government sought to protect its supply to its own benefit, Cecil Rhodes sought a way to gain political dominance over it in favor of British rule. Eventually, Leander Starr Jameson, a Scottish colonial politician who worked with Rhodes and Hammond Sr., among several others, raised a private army in hopes of sparking a revolution among foreigners, or Uitlanders, living there that would overthrow the Boer government and allow the British to take over. It has been argued that Hammond Sr. was an architect in this movement, possibly inspired by his experience with vigilante culture in the American West, especially its history of what was known as filibustering, in this sense, referring to private, unsanctioned expansionist warfare by American citizens in attempts to claim territory from Latin American countries. In any event, the raid lasted from December 29, 1895 to January 2, 1896, and was a massive failure. The ringleaders, including Hammond Sr., were rounded up and arrested. The engineer was sentenced to death alongside several other members of the so-called Reform Committee, though this was later commuted to a 2,000-pound fine by Transvaal President Paul Kruger due to American political pressure on behalf of the well-connected Hammond Sr., who later authored a book detailing this raid, as well as an autobiography which perhaps sought to downplay his role in planning it. After this debacle, Hammond Sr. moved his family to England between 1897 and 1899, it was here that his son Jack fell in love with medieval castles, which would eventually lead to his construction of Hammond Castle Museum beginning in 1926. After this period, the Hammonds returned to the United States and eventually settled in Gloucester, Massachusetts, although they maintained multiple residences. Hammond Sr. became quite active in politics, forming a close friendship with President William Howard Taft, whom he met at Yale. His name was floated as a candidate for the vice presidency at the Republican National Convention in 1908, but he did not receive many delegates. He later served as a diplomat and was sent to both the coronation of George V of the United Kingdom as well as the court of Nicholas II of Russia. Hammond Sr. and Natalie Harris Hammond had five children in all. John Hayes Hammond Jr., a.k.a. Jack Hammond, the famed inventor who founded our museum, Natalie Hayes Hammond, a noted artist and costume designer, Harris Hayes Hammond, president of the Dominguez Oil Fields Company as well as the Laughlin Filter Corporation, Nathaniel Harris Hammond, who sadly died at the age of five, and Richard Pindell Hammond, a composer. Hammond Sr. died at his estate in Gloucester in 1936 at the age of 81. His estate left to his children, including Jack, who used some of the money to build additions to Hammond Castle Museum. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there is a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.